If you go to a wet market, a local market, let's say in Arusha, Tanzania, you will find all these leafy greens, African eggplants. But let's say you go to a supermarket, you won't see all those local vegetables and, and local fruits that you would find on the wet market. We call these crops forgotten food crops. Other people call them neglected and underutilized crops. One of the points of our paper is that it's beneficial to get those forgotten food crops back on our plates and back in our farming systems because they truly contribute to a more climate resilient food supply. Maize, rice, cassava and yams. These are four crops that help you get your calories. And in the last decades, in the agriculture research and development, there has of course been a lot of focus on how to reduce hunger, how to increase food security, and you achieve that with the calories. What our study tells us is that we need to diversify these staple crop systems with more nutritious and climate resilient foods. About 550 million people live in Western Central Africa and about 75% of these people, they depend mostly on these four staples. What our study shows is that in about 16% of the production locations of these staple crops, we will expect a novel climate in the next decade. If you do a very rough estimate, multiplying 550 million people times 75% dependent on agriculture, multiplying by 60% of the production location affected, you would come out on tens of millions of people affected by climate change if we don't intervene. We want to provide a long-term solution. We looked in our final list of prioritized uh, forgotten food crops and these are the crops that perform well today and that perform well in 2070. What we see is that it's not one particular champion crop, no, there's no specific silver bullet. If we want to adapt food production in Africa to climate change and provide a food supply for more healthy diets in Africa, then it's necessary to diversify these cropping systems with crops from the different food groups. We maintain this gene bank at the World Vegetable Center, International Vegetable Gene Bank here in Taiwan, and the Africa's Vegetable Gene Bank in Tanzania, where we keep seed samples of more than 300 crops. Farmers across the whole world can request seed of varieties that they think are useful for their breeding programs or for their farming or for their research. We believe it's really important to promote these forgotten food crops and to make the case that this is an important resource to improve nutrition and to improve climate adaptation. Mm -hmm.